Ever had that something stuck in my throat feeling? We've all been there. That nagging feeling of something stuck in the back of your throat. Sometimes it's just a bit of leftover food, but other times it could be something a bit more peculiar. Tonsil stones. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. We're going to uncover the mysteries of these tiny troublemakers. We'll discuss what they are, why they happen, and most importantly, how to get rid of them. So if you're ready to say goodbye to that something stuck sensation, keep reading. Let's break down what tonsil stones are. They're tiny, whitish-yellow clumps that form in the crevices of your tonsils. You might see them when you look in the mirror, or you might not even know they're there. Tonsil stones are basically like little food traps in your throat. They're made up of things like food particles, dead cells, and bacteria. Think of your tonsils like a sponge. They have all these little nooks and crannies where things can get caught. Over time, these trapped particles can harden and become those pesky tonsil stones. It's like a game of hide-and-seek. Tonsil stones can form for a few different reasons. First, if you have large tonsils, you might have more of those little crevices where things can get stuck. It's like having more hiding spots for food and bacteria. Second, poor oral hygiene can contribute to tonsil stones. When you don't brush and floss regularly, it allows more food particles and bacteria to hang out in your mouth, increasing the chances of them getting trapped in your tonsils. And lastly, some people are just more prone to tonsil stones than others. It's just the way their tonsils are shaped. Tonsil stones are usually pretty small, so you might not even notice them. But sometimes they can grow large enough to cause some uncomfortable symptoms. One of the most common signs is bad breath. Remember those bacteria we talked about? Well, they can release sulfur compounds, which have that lovely rotten egg smell. You might also experience a sore throat, ear pain, or a persistent cough. That something stuck feeling is a big giveaway too. If you have any of these symptoms, it's a good idea to see your doctor or dentist to get checked out. How to evict those pesky tonsil stones? Getting rid of tonsil stones is usually pretty straightforward. Gently gargling with salt water can help to dislodge them. Using a water flosser can also be effective, but be sure to use it on a low setting so you don't irritate your tonsils. If you're feeling brave, you can try gently removing them yourself with a cotton swab, but be very careful. You don't want to injure your tonsils. If you're having trouble getting rid of them on your own, or if they're causing you a lot of discomfort, your doctor can remove them for you. keeping tonsil stones at bay your defense strategy. The good news is that there are things you can do to prevent tonsil stones from forming in the first place. Brushing and flossing your teeth regularly is key. This helps to remove food particles and bacteria from your mouth, making it less likely for them to get trapped in your tonsils. Gargling with salt water after meals can also be helpful. It's like giving your mouth a mini cleaning throughout the day. Staying hydrated is important too. Drinking plenty of water helps to keep your mouth flushed and prevents things from getting stuck. Tonsil stones, small but mighty. Tonsil stones might be small, but they can sure pack a punch when it comes to discomfort. The good news is that they're usually harmless and easy to get rid of. By practicing good oral hygiene and staying hydrated, you can help to keep these tiny troublemakers at bay. And if you do experience any symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor or dentist for help. A final word from Dr. Oz. Remember, your tonsils play an important role in your immune system, so we want to keep them healthy. By understanding what tonsil stones are and how to prevent them, you can take charge of your oral health and say goodbye to that annoying something stuck feeling for good.